How to generate images in new macOS 26. Head to your apps, that's the icon next to your finder. Click on it and from here we can scroll manually and search for the image playground or simply you can type it at the very top here. If you scroll, you may see this icon, image playground, it's got the Apple Intelligence logo on it as well. So just click on that to open. If you've been using this before, you will be able to see your previous creations here. Click new image at the top right corner. And here it is. As you may notice, the in interface is a bit different than in the previous macOS. Now we got the style indicator at the very top of it. And take a look, there's more than two styles, so that's a great improvement. In the past, we got animation illustration. They also add a beta sketch later on, but now we got also gen emoji and chat GPT as well. If you click on that, you will have this information popping up about you kind of using outside AI model, not the Apple intelligence. That's obvious from the name. And you will need to kind of agree with the terms here and turn it on. And after you do that, take a look, we unlocked six more styles. So that's a great addition to this image playground. So now we got multiple different styles. We are not stuck with only two styles like in the previous version. All right, so let's head with anime style. All right, and now it's time to type prompts. And as you may notice, the icon hit change from the classic Apple Intelligent. Now we're using chat GPD. After you type the prompt, it will float around the generated image. And here it is, you got only one version versus like we normally got three or four versions straight away from Apple Intelligence and it's a bit slower. So let's move back to a regular Apple Intelligence styles. Let's move back to this animation style. And now, now we are in this Apple ecosystem again and we can use the choose person, person option as well. So we can set up the appearance of the person before it's generated, right? So we can set up the skin color, we can set up the age and gender here based on those examples. So one is one prompt is the appearance we choose from the list, another one is the one we type in. And remember in the image playground you can actually type in additional prompts without deleting the first one. So you can have multiple like tags floating around. So I just type at night and that's changed my image. Now we got a night forest. You can keep scrolling right until you see the image you are happy with. And of course you can keep modifying prompts. You can change the style, all of that stuff. If you don't need the prompt anymore, you can also delete that by clicking the minus at the tag here. And we are back to the previous setup. Let's change the style to illustration. And as you can see, it's a bit different now. All right, if you are happy with your result, you can save it. Right click on it to copy, share or save. There's also a share button at the top right. When you can have some classic Apple options like AirDrop. We can go back to the gallery and we can see our previous creations as well. And if you don't want this to show here, you can always delete that. You need to confirm. And that's it. That one is gone. All right. So that's how you can generate images in new macOS 26. It's the same app like in previous system called Image Playground, but this time it's a bit more powerful. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.